generally when I'm trying to think of words to characterize a beer, I use words that have, hopefully, some sort of flavor or aroma or experience attached to them. And that's usually what I find on the cans as well. But today I'm drinking a beer that describes itself as authentic, zesty, and mischief. Well, I suppose if that wasn't enough of a clue, this is Avery Brewing's White Rascal, which is a Belgian-style white ale, also known as a wit beer. I've had a couple of them this year. I want to say I've recorded, that's right, I've done Oberon or Bell's, Bell Brewing's Oberon, and I think that's the only other one I've done. A super common wit beer, the one that most people in America know, is Blue Moon, which is often served with an orange slice. This one is actually ale with curacao orange peel and coriander, so they're doubling down on the orange. Orange flavors are pretty common, or at least commonly associated with wit beers, so it's kind of all in the family. And Avery just choosing to double down on that is great. Uh, this is also a beer that my wife enjoys quite a lot. In fact, I had to put this on the I'm going to be reviewing this shelf in the fridge so that I could have one can left. Uh, it's brewed in the Rocky Mountains, or it's at least brewed with Rocky Mountain water, malted barley, malted wheat, coriander, curacao, orange peel hops, and Belgian yeast. So they're definitely going for an authentic look with, or authentic flavor with this. The, I don't recall if a wheat or a, a white ale has to have more than 50% of its mash be wheat generally the white of a wit beer is from the way that yeasts ferment yeast mat wheat wheat mash ferments in that certain of the proteins are not attacked by the yeast and left behind they produce a white uh, body to the beer this is not white this is lime yellow and uh, relatively clear i would not say filtered necessarily but relatively clear the head is quite white very white um, and it's kind of happy to come back. Fine bubbled. It's got some surprising legs for a uh, what appears to be a relatively thin beer. To the nose, it's definitely orange. But not, not full-on sweet orange. It's maybe 75% orange and 25% lemon, kind of. There's just a, there's a bit of an astringency to that, to the citrus. It gives it a refreshing character. And <laughs> you can smell the Belgian yeasts, that funky aroma that it, it means the beer. It means I am going to enjoy the beer a lot. Also, uh, funnily enough, uh, amongst my various new neighbors that I've met here at my new property, there was one neighbor I was chatting with and he and his uh, girlfriends uh, enjoy wheat beers quite a lot. They'll buy Widmer's Hefeweizen, and he was telling these stories about them discovering that the bottled Hefeweizen was a cheaper unit cost than the uh, casks they had been purchasing. Anyways, I am always interested in expanding my friends' beer horizons, or if not expanding their horizons, uh, well, no, yes. Expanding the horizons. I'm always interested in expanding my friends' beer horizons. And so if they talk about a style that they particularly enjoy, I will try to find something I think is adjacent to or closely related to that style they enjoy that might give them something else that they can enjoy. And from there, who knows? The sky's the limit, right? That's, that's how I discovered beer, by chasing styles. And so I gave him, actually, one of the cans of, one of my cans of, uh, of uh, White Rascal, and he really enjoyed it, uh, or at least the uh, expressions on his face and the words coming out of his mouth indicated he greatly enjoyed it. <laughs> so anyways, if you like Hefeweizens, you might find that wit beers are a nice adjacent style that can bring some additional character to your beer experience. But let's uh, get back into this, eh?
there's a, a hint of sweetness that seems maybe disconnected from the orange, but it's pretty subtle. Maybe a light honey. Coriander, if you're not familiar with that, is actually just another word for cilantro. Uh, coriander, it's often called the coriander seed in the US at least, that the plant is cilantro and the seed is coriander. Though other places in the world, the plant and the seed are both called coriander. So that um, coriander itself, the coriander plant or the cilantro plant has a bit of a sweet aroma to it, sweet and green. And so I'm expecting that sweetness may be from the coriander actually. And I suppose if you're one of those unfortunate souls for whom cilantro tastes like soap, I'm sorry. Hmm, it smells good. <clears throat> I don't know why wit beers have usually meant winter to me. I think it's possibly the, the orange, which is traditionally a winter Christmas uh, fruit, and the other spices common to the wit beer that generally make me think of winter. You don't, I don't generally think of spiced beers as being a summer thing. Though, to be frank, a wit beer would be beautiful in the summer. Maybe not on the hottest of days, but it's certainly a refreshing beer. It's not thick and heavy or anything like that. It's, it's a enjoyably refreshing beer. At the same time, for warmer winter days or when you're just not jonesing for a, a super dark, super strong beer. You want something lighter that has those, those refreshing, those, those spiced notes in addition to a more refreshing body. Wood beers are where it's at. I think that's where it's landed for me just in general. <laughs> it's so good. It is definitely coriander, orange, and funky Belgian yeasts, like top to bottom, straight through, good stuff. It isn't, it isn't sweet per se. I would say it's more herbal than sweet, or um, not herbal like, you know, the, the herbs, or the, if you are familiar with herbal medicine, the kind of dried out, stuffy smelling herbs that you put my mom my mother put inside the capsules and fed me um that kept many of us healthy for uh well mostly healthy growing up um but herbs as in fresh green plants that are aromatic and flavorful that kind of herbs and then the curacao orange which is a to me kind of a softer orange I might liken it to maybe a blood orange. Uh, Curacao is a relatively famous orange liqueur as well, branded orange liqueur, liqueur. And it is liqueur from the Curacao orange. So that's that's kind of the, the flavor bookmark you might be able to look for if you're familiar with Curacao. Curacao oranges, though, are not blue. Just FYI. I don't know who decided that the liqueur blue curacao had to be blue. Uh, I'd imagine it was more an interest in making uh, orange flavored blue colored drinks than any attempt at authenticity or reality. <laughs> but yeah, so this drinks like a refreshing light unsweet orange juice with a cilantro, herbal, coriander uh, tone. Under, just kind of foundationed with or undergirded with this really kind of strong Belgian yeast character that whose funkiness balances very nicely. So it's a very nicely balanced beer that just, it's just really good. It's a really good beer. It's a very tasty beer that I enjoy quite a lot. And you don't have to necessarily be a fan of the Belgian funks to enjoy it. My wife is not a fan of the Belgian funks, and she likes this beer. So, vote from her, definitely. Um, yeah, good stuff. Anyways, this is me. I have been drinking and definitely enjoying my last can of Avery Brewing Company's White Rascal, a Belgian-style white ale. 
and I will catch y'all on the flip side.